Hello, Bumpy Mixquigums here, and we are going to continue my Let's Play of East Carnival's East 2. This is episode 12. If you remember in the last episode, I got completely destroyed over and over and over and over and over again by the horrible, horrible boss. So we're going to attempt one more time, well, possibly several hundred more times, to actually defeat the boss. A pretty good idea how to defeat it, just actually accomplishing this. Not always the easiest thing in the world. Alright, we've landed one hit on him. Dodge that, throw a fireball in his mouth. Another one. Dodge again. Fireball, dodge. Miss the egg. Get hit by one stupid projectile and then lose half my health because of it. Because that is just freaking fantastic. There we go, now we're down to what, a quarter of our health? this and start over. But the good news is we got through his first entire health bar and into his second health bar, so we're not looking too awfully horrible. I am ready to battle this guy. Well, I can tell you, that wasn't very impressive how he's taken absolutely no damage thus far. Taking quite a bit of damage. <sighs> Such a great boss fight. I love it so much. Of course, why not? Yep, just ping pong me into the boss. Why not? Yeah, we're just gonna let that kill us simply because we can't actually do anything. I gotta tell you, I am very agitated by this boss fight. It's stupid, in my opinion, but hey, it is what it is. It's a pattern boss fight, and most of them are pattern boss fights, so I can't complain there, but the pattern is just dumb. I mean, literally, the smallest thing can completely destroy you in this one. Like that, right there. It bump bumped me right into the boss. I was destroying the boss pathetically, and then boom. It bumped me right into it. I just lost, what, 60% of my health in one go because of that. One little bump, and 60% of your health is gone. It's just ridiculous. This is a stupid boss fight. It really is. I don't know if there's, like, something you can do to weaken the guy or what, but my lord, I don't like this boss fight at all. Like right now, I've hit him, what, I think once? I should have hit him like seven times, but I think I've only managed to get what, three hits now. So we'll get through this, guys. I apologize. I know I'm not talking as much as I can. I'm kind of agitated. I'm trying to keep from getting really, really agitated. But, again, it's just you run in circles and you, you try to hit these guys. Uh, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like the boss fight at all. I like the fact that it's more challenging than a lot of the harder bosses, or a lot of the later bosses in Ease 1, but... I'm sure of that. 
There's nothing I particularly like about this boss fight. But we did it. We have been victorious. Oh good, that makes me feel better, because I was just getting really, really stressed out with that fight. So good. I am totally going to save immediately in multiple places, because that was pretty terrible. Also, I really, really hope that the recording is actually going... Yes, it is. Okay, well, good. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I, I didn't actually check to see if the recording was up and running there, guys. I just wanted to try to get through the boss fight. Let's see, but... I wasn't sure. As a doll unfurled the scroll of guidance, words began to appear on the blank, faded parchment. Great warrior, you have braved many dangers to get here, but alas, you have reached Solomon Shrine. The statue can guide you to the heart of the shrine where we reside. If you have a pendant placed upon your neck and touch the statue, and place or and the path shall be open to you. There are two pendants to be found. A silver path lies before you, as does a path of gold. As it all read each word, it faded away. I don't believe I have any pendants. I do not. So it looks like we're going to have to go back to the east side of stuff. And see if there's any remaining uh, doors unlocked. I believe there is. Well, in fact, I'm sure of it. I am 100% certain that there are other doors to unlock. Alright, so we're going to head to the east side. I think. We're going to try. There we are. And sure enough, here we are. So we have to go find the doors that we have missed in the earlier area, simply because we did not have a key. Hopefully, I have some recollection of what is actually going on here. Hmm. I'm not sure where I'm heading, guys. I I know what I'm looking for, but I don't remember. I don't remember the east side that much, to be honest. I remember the west side relatively decent. Yeah, so there'll be some some long periods of me wandering aimlessly. Hope you guys don't mind too, too much. These guys are significantly weaker than they were the last time we came across them, though, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Is there any magical, mystical hidden doors here? No, there is not. But in this room, there's a staircase down. Sure, let's check that. Nope. Well. So far, no good. So far, no good at all. So we're gonna keep wandering. Hello, new door. The door that leads to... this. Hmm. Well, thus far, I'm not seeing a whole lot of other doors. I know there was at least two. There was the one that we listened to, but then I'm pretty sure there was one more. So, I'm excited guys, any moment my hard drive will be here. I have not quite finished this game yet, which makes me quite sad. So what I'm going to do is leave this game on this computer, which I've deleted almost everything else I've done, and I am going to hope, I'm going to hope that the saved files transfer over on, on Steam over to my new computer, and if they do, well then, good for me, I'll be able to continue on the new computer doing the recording and it won't be a big deal. However, if it does not, well then I have a problem. Mm, this place is m very mind-numbing and horrible. I don't like this place. I don't like it at all. No, I do not. I am not a big fan of this place. Alright, so... Wandering aimlessly is not really seeming to work for us. That's the exit. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to go to the northern area here. Because this area just isn't working for me. Oh, my. Hello. Perhaps both of the doors were in this area? I don't know. All I simply do not know. A 
few things I do know, and one... Aha! Here we go. One is there was at least two doors in this area somewhere. Oh, hello, the subterranean canal. Little monkey birds with snake legs. I like it. Alright, so... Somewhere in here, I assume we'll find one of those things. Though I can't be absolutely certain. Ouch, that hurt a tremendously huge amount. What we're going to do is equip our little tear. Oh, they breathe fire. I'm glad I moved. That seemed quite unpleasant. Would have been more so had it actually hit me. So I may run off, guys, here in a moment if my hard drive actually does show up. So we'll have to forgive the slight pause if that does happen. But for now, we are not pausing. We are done grumbling and griping as well. And in spite of everything, getting our new armor and everything else, we are back up to 15,000 gold. So we got quite a bit of gold. And I believe the thing is here, guys. So while we heal up, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and it is here. So now I really don't want to play anymore. But we are going to finish up this episode. Oh no, fire. We're going to finish up this episode, do what we can out of this episode, and get it done as far as we can. Aha! There's a chest. I acquired a silver pendant! I don't know if there's more than one pendant here. I'll assume there's more than one, because I said there was gold and silver, but... There's no way to be 100% certain. There did seem to appear... It seemed to appear. Huh. There does appear to be... Okay, so we'll have to drain the water before we can make it to that stuff. I actually think we're fine. I think we are able to use our return magic at this point. And continue. Alright. What we're gonna do is go to the village. We'll sit here and heal up. Looks like we stopped healing. Um, HDMI cable and it is a hard drive, so I will indeed be able to get this computer up and running tonight, guys. I'm looking forward to that. Been looking forward to it for quite a while now, as I'm sure you guys have heard. If you haven't, you're deaf and I don't know what you're doing listening, but yes, 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 I know. You guys really, 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 really want me in here. I as well want to be in here. Alright. We are going to once again go into the center area. Straight up. We are going to equip the silver necklace. Or necklace. As I would call it. We'll tuck, touch. We go. Hello. We will teleport. We are in a new area. We are in the west wing. Alright. So... Ooh, that's an ugly looking creature. I'm not sure what I'm whoa, I'm not sure what I'm doing here though. Well, not a whole lot it appears, at least not yet. Looks like there's more levels to be had as well. We're gonna go check out this door on the ground floor. The door on the ground floor, I like it. I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, well, this is something different. Okay. Huh. Adol heard a voice coming from the Lila shell. Adol, there's a boy here to see you. He says he has urgent news. Please come back to the village so we can speak of this face to face. But be careful. Get here when you can. Don't rush. You'll let your guard down. I have return magic, buddy. I can get there whenever I want to. So what I think we'll do is we'll bang out another level, maybe two, and then we'll head back to town, see what some boy wants of us. And yeah, we'll continue from there, I guess. Two guards could be heard speaking to one another in a language of the demons. Well, I suppose we should, oops, well, we should do that too. We have accomplished something there. Let's uh, equip this, go to uh, the Altair magic. The key to the water control room is missing. I wonder if Keith took it. I chased, I chased Keith down this way a little while ago. 
But he managed to escape through here. Well, that's intriguing. Well, these, this looks like this is going to be another rather large maze. So, it appears that we are not, in fact, going to be able to finish this game tonight, guys. It's the sheer volume of the maze before us. Ooh, there's a door. And a chest. And I acquired a battle shield. What? Look at that. Hitting that tier 5 gear already. You know I want this. Oh, looks like there's a tier 6, too. Interesting. Alright, we'll take it. Alright, we'll also remove our, uh... We will remove our altar magic, get our fire back out. We'll run over here to this spot. If there's anything amazing in here. I'm doubting it, but it's always a possibility. It does not appear that that is the case. There's nothing amazing over here. We did just level up. So we at least ch achieved that goal. We have... Very nearly 2,000 gold. Sorry, 20,000 gold. And yeah, we're, we're doing alright, guys. We, we've at least accomplished quite a bit in this episode. I did manage to get the boss down. It took a while. It was not exactly the easiest thing I've ever done. But it wasn't quite as bad as the uh, last boss of Ease 1, so take the good with the bad, I suppose. Mm hmm. So we're going to continue to look around a little bit, hopefully not too in-depth or... Oh, my, oh, another subterranean canal. Oh no, what is that thing? Oh, it looks like it shot lightning or something at me. Whatever it was, it didn't last very long. It did hurt, though. Alright, so we're back in these canals, and I imagine there's something to do in here, but oh no. Wow, we leveled up again? Whoa, that's... Kind of ridiculous. Alright, well, we'll sit here and look pretty for a few seconds. Sure, why not? And we'll save once again, since we did just level up like two or three hundred times in a row. Two times. We'll save a bunch, and I am eager, guys. I am eager to get this thing up and running. I'm like antsy. I feel like a kid on Christmas. It's not even Christmas yet. What? So, yeah, I'm excited for multiple reasons. You know, obviously getting a new computer is a good thing. And yes, I'm very excited about that. But... One of the reasons I'm even more excited is the fact that my wife has a really horrible computer right now. And I am very, very, very eager to actually give her the current computer I have, because it's a lot better than what she has. Keith, you're the one who helped me when I was locked in Burned Blessed Lava Prison. My name is Keith. I, I lost control of my emotions, so I ran away from the guards and hid here. You need to contact the goddesses, right? And what you need to do is go to the goddess's palace. From what I can tell, though, the only way left to get there is to slip in through this canal. Go to the water control room. Once you're there, close the water gates to dam the canal. That's the first step. Here, I've got the key. Take it. Consider it my thanks for your help in the lava prison. I received the floodgate key. I'm going to stay here for a while and try to calm myself. Well, that's interesting. So I'm supposed to know where this control room thing is? I guess? I, I don't... I don't know. I honestly do not know what is going on, but... I know something is happening, and I need to figure out how to get through this area. Alright, so we'll go over here. Maybe it's on this side? I don't know, guys. I honestly do not know. Oh, no. Oh, dead end. Alright, well, I think we're going to use our return magic here before we end up falling victim to something horrible. Ooh. Like this guy right here. We'll juke him, though. We got jukes. Alright, well, even with jukes, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do much. So we're going to use our return magic. And we are going to return to the place, talk to whatever person that is looking for us at Ramia Village. After we go visit the old man to get some water to make ourselves healthy and shiny and new. 
And then, after we figure out what the kid wants, I think we're going to call it a close to episode 12. Yeah, the uh, delay with the boss fighting wasn't really part of the plan, so I imagine that slowed us quite a bit. But there seems to be quite a bit more to this game than I thought. I thought we'd be really close to being done. Well, we're pretty close, but we're not there yet. I was assuming between 12 and 14 episodes. I'm now amending that to probably 16 to 20 episodes. We'll see. We will see. Alright, so we gotta find somebody. We gotta find somebody. Hey, there's a kid. Old man. We have a lively young guest waiting for you at all. Nope. Alright. Stop. Stop talking to me. There we go. Tarf! Oh boy. Mr. Adol, you're too slow. Come on, hurry it up already. So, like it happened right after you left, I saw that guy in the black cloak just outside the village. I was being all brave and sneaky and followed him all the way here. I lost sight of him though, just after arriving in this village. Mr. Adol, I'd watch out for that guy if I were you. He's real bad news. It seems like the demons really have it in for you too, mister. You've been put through a lot. Um. Okay, that that was important enough for me to come out of the dungeon. I, I don't know. Hold on. Can I get this ring yet? Well, I'm assuming it's a ring. I meant this chest actually, but I assume it's my missing ring that I don't have yet. Do you need anything? Yes. Let me in your, your box. Alright, so, nothing happening there. I will head back up toward uh, this shrine. Actually, you know what, I'm not. I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna see if there's a door hidden in here somewhere. I don't believe there is. Just real quick, just to look around. This is the first place we've entered. So we'll see. We'll do a quick exploration. See if there's anything that we might have missed over time. Also, it fills out the episode a little bit more. Gives you guys a little bit more content. Yes, guys, I am twitching. This is like torture to me. Playing this now. The new computer sitting right behind me. I did plug it in today. Everything seemed to work. I got all the cables that were in the way out of the way. One was bumping against one of the fans of my video card. But, uh, yeah. Looks like it should just be plug and play and ready to go. So I'm hoping. Hoping everything works. That's the plan. That's the goal. That's the dream. Alright, so let's go down this way. Dead end. It looks like there's several dead ends, guys. I was hoping that this would be the canal. But I suppose it could be any one of the else. Who knows, there's still maybe a door in here somewhere. Nope. It looks like that's it. Hmm. I don't know where the water control room is. So that's unfortunate. Well, we'll leave... I guess right here in this area. And we will continue this in episode 13, guys. Uh, look for it tomorrow. I will be busy the rest of the evening. Trying to get my computer up and running. Hopefully, 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 everything works out and I'm up and running and I will be on tonight fiddling around, getting things going at 100%. And tomorrow you guys will have some new content on the new machine. So thank you all for joining me. This has been my Let's Play of Ease Chronicles Ease 2. This is episode 12. I was hoping it was going to be the last episode, but that's not the case, and that's okay, because the E-Series is still entertaining, even if I don't enjoy boss fights. So thank you for joining me. As I said, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you guys later.